we are going to convert this parametric equation to Cartesian. Here we have x is equal to secant t, and then y is equal to cosecant t. So usually we like to just isolate the t from the x equation and plug in into the y equation right here, right? However, when we are dealing with trig functions, let's do it this way. Let's look at the x equation, x is equal to secant t, as the following. Let me put down secant t is equal to x. And for the x, I will look at the x as x over 1. And the reason is because, based off this equation, I can draw a right triangle and then figure out the sides. So let me just draw a right triangle right here and put the right angle here. Secant t, the t is the angle. I will indicate that angle right here. That's t for the angle. And in the right triangle, secant means what? Secant means hypotenuse over adjacent, right? So I'm going to indicate the hypotenuse is x, which is right here, and then the adjacent, which is 1, is right here, right? Because I chose the angle to be right there. Well, I have to figure out this missing side. That missing side is just, you take the square root of the hypotenuse square, which we have x square, minus the side square right here, which is 1 square, which is just 1. And then we have that positive square root. This is what we have. And now, if you look at the y equation, we have y is equal to cosecant t. I just have to figure out what's cosecant t in this right triangle, and what's cosecant. Cosecant means I want to look for the hypotenuse over the opposite side, right? So let me just indicate this right here is the hypotenuse over the opposite side. So we can say y is equal to x over that, which is square root of x squared minus 1. This is technically it. But then let me tell you, whenever we are doing this kind of things, whenever we end up with a square root, usually we like to square both sides. But then let me just make a remark. This is the expression that you want to use, so you can put this onto your graphing calculator and make a graph. But then, unfortunately, if you only graph this, you can only see half of the graph. If you want to see the whole graph, by doing so, you have to attach a plus minus, okay? Because technically, right there, it has the plus minus. But then, to make this, I would just say, prettier, you know, just one final answer, let's square both sides. So, we have y squared equals to x squared over the square root and the square root cancel each other. So on the denominator, we just have x squared minus 1. And this right here, I'll just leave it as the final answer. That's it.